So these are the six things that everybody should consider in creating an income plan and retirement, but really how and when and where and how do I take money out of my retirement plan? What's the proper way to do it? What accounts should I take first, second, and third? <clears throat> where should I get the growth? Do I need more guaranteed income and pensions? So here's another consideration. How do you make that balance between, I wanna guarantee as much income as I, I need coming in, for example, social security or pension, or create your own kind of personal pension plan using an annuity strategy, how do I balance my need for guaranteed income that whether the stock market goes up or down isn't gonna make any difference in what's coming into my checkbook every month versus having long-term growth? It's not an easy or simple decision to make. It gets down to some of the things we already talked about before. Number one, how's your health? Number two, what kind of income do you need in retirement? What's your number? You know, I'll, I'll digress here for a moment. You know, we see those ads on TV. What's your number? You can go to our website or anybody's website. You put all your information in there and the number comes out, you need 2 million bucks. Very few people have $2 million. So your number really is the amount of money you need coming in every month to maintain your lifestyle. So looking at all those things, how do you balance? I think I'm going to live a long time, so I need my money to grow. You always need your money to grow. But I also want to make sure that it, if, if the market turns over, the economy blows up or something happens, that my retirement plan isn't ruined. So there's a balance we help figure out for every individual client. And it's different for everybody. It really is. But it's a really important consideration. How much protected guaranteed income do I need and want versus how much do I need to subject to a little bit of market risk or a lot of risk, depending on what you like, to have the money grow? Key decision, because it will impact you down the road. And the other thing you need to understand is once you make the decision, it's not something you just hold to every day. All of these things need to be revisited every year, at least every year, to make sure they still make sense. So another issue, and I ask, I ask this sometimes with folks, and I say, how long do you think you're going to live? And they look and say, I don't know. My parents live to be 144. Okay, well, you have, you have some longevity there. Are you healthy right now? Yep. Okay, you may live a long time. None of us know how long we're going to live. I mean, I may not make it out of this place this afternoon. That's entirely up to God. But it's important to kind of think about how long we're going to live. What kind of longevity do you have in your family? Because that'll impact how you plan. I've got some clients that literally the men in the family have not made it past 71. And, and this one particular guy, I try to encourage him to think positively, but it's, it's difficult for him to do that. So this is an important consideration. It's one of those kind of soft things that you talk about, but it impacts how you structure your investment portfolio and how you structure survivorship income in your retirement plan. And then finally, and, and we all know this one's important, particularly over the last three years, you have to take into consideration inflation. Now we don't have control over it. I don't have control over it. As long as the government's going to want to do what the government's going to want to do, uh, we're probably going to have inflation. Fact of the matter is we have inflation every year. Inflation doesn't go down. The great, the great misunderstanding about inflation, we hear politicians say, well, the inflation's coming down. No, it's not. The rate of inflation, the rate of growth in inflation is coming down. Inflation keeps going up year over year over year. So it was up 9% last year. It's up three and a half, four now. That means so far the last year and a half, it's up between 13 and 15% average. Some items are up more. So inflation's always with us, but it has to be an important consideration because a dollar today is going to be worth a whole lot more than a dollar 10 years from now. And the plan has to account 
or enough growth so that at least some of the effects of inflation are, are minimized and, and taken off the board. So these are the six things that everybody should consider in creating an income plan and retirement, but really how and when and where and how do I take money out of my retirement plan? What's the proper way to do it? What accounts should I take first, second, and third? <clears throat> where should I get the growth? Do I need more guaranteed income and pensions? These are a lot of important questions. And it's more than one size for everybody. God created you as unique individuals. Every family has their own unique needs. What we try to do is help you create a unique plan that's based on what you want that will give you the best hope, the best opportunity, the best possible outcome for success. And more importantly, when you become a client of ours, we review these at least twice a year, sometimes more, depending on what goes on in the market. It's not a one-stop, let's do this now and let's look at it 10 years from now. We think it's really important to do periodic, on time, year after year, six years after year, reviews to make sure that it's still working, to make sure that something in your life hasn't changed. It's tailored to you. So if this has made some sense to you, if you have an interest in talking more about this with us, no cost, no harm, no foul, as I say. I'm Ron Corser. Give me a call at Cornerstone Retirement Partners, 616-301-2581. That's 616-301-2581. Or go to our website, www.cornerstone, C-O-R-N-E-R-S-T-O-N-E dash rp.com. Put your information in there. We'll reach out to you and give you what you need to make really great decisions for your family. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I enjoyed talking to you. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Tune into Cornerstone Retirement Partners full radio program, Your Course to Retirement, Sunday mornings at 9 o'clock at News Radio WOOD or visit cornerstone-rp.com for many valuable resources, including those mentioned on this show and other great episodes of Your Course to Retirement. The content of this radio show is provided for informational purposes only and is not a solicitation or recommendation of any investment strategy. You are encouraged to seek investment, tax, or legal advice from an independent professional advisor. Ed Slot's Elite IRA Advisor Group is solely an indication that the financial advisor has attended training provided by Ed Slot and Company, passed biannual examinations on material covered at conferences and in webinars, and met other membership requirements and does not constitute an endorsement of any kind. Ed Slot's Elite IRA Advisor Group members pay a fee to the educational programs that allow them to be included in the Ed Slot's Elite IRA IRA Advisor Group. Membership does not guarantee investment success. Fiduciary duty extends solely to investment advisory advice and does not extend to other activities such as insurance or broker-dealer services. Advisory services offered through Brookstone Capital Management, a registered investment advisor. Advisory clients are charged a quarterly fee for assets under management, while insurance products pay a commission, which may result in a conflict of interest regarding compensation. Any investments and or investment strategies mentioned involve risk, including the possible loss of principal. Any comments regarding safe and secure investments and guaranteed income streams refer only to fixed insurance products. They do not refer in any way to securities or investment advisory products. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs. Early withdrawals may subject the owner to penalties, fees, or taxes.